Michigan State University is releasing its 2021 corn and soybean performance trials. Conducted annually, the trials are designed to provide an unbiased look at the performance of hybrids submitted to MSU by private seed companies. Over 20 different companies submitted 194 soybean varieties for this year's trials, which were conducted at eight locations across the state. The 2021 planting season started off fairly dry, which gave us an opportunity to get things planted in very good order. It was a little bit tough with some of the pre-emergent herbicides not working, but overall we had a very good planting season. There were a lot of rains uh, in the July, usually in the June, June, July time in most of the state this year. And then of course, as everyone knows, harvest season was a very, very wet, uh, challenging harvest for us. We started off October 1st with harvest and very good time. And then we got rained out October 2nd. So after that, we were battling dry weather, dry beans, the ground, uh, wherever we could get on as best we could. And then we had a really good stretch in early November and we got a lot of plots harvested and a lot of good data at that time. The Michigan Soybean Committee has a project they've been funding to try to encourage seed companies to submit some earlier varieties. And this year, some of those earlier varieties did very well especially in the Thumb area and over in Allegan County. All of the locations in the south got a lot of rain during harvest time. It was very difficult to get those out. Our highest yielding location this year was in our Ingham County trial over near Weberville. Similar trials were conducted by MSU on corn varieties to determine what rose as the cream of the crop. We got really lucky with this planting season. Uh, the long stretch of dry was a little too dry after a while, but it allowed us to get everything planted in a really timely manner. I think our last planting date was June 1st, um, which I can't beat that when I have 13 locations to get to. Um, yeah, planting-wise it went great. Harvest season went really well as well. The hardest thing we faced this year was um, side dress with that big stretch of rain right in the middle of the season. The biggest struggle was down south, we had some lodging issues with the tar spot, which has been a challenge for growers more and more uh, within the past five years, I would say. Uh, because of that, they got a big windstorm late in the season and we had a couple locations uh, with quite a bit of lodging. And I would say that was mostly due to the tar spot, just eating away at the corn stalk and one big wind wipes it down. So that was our, our um, biggest challenge performance wise. But other than that, up north, our late grain hybrids um, have done really, really well. I would say they outcompeted the early grain hybrids by far. Blome believes the biggest value of the corn and soybean trials is providing unbiased research to the state's growers. We have growers who really depend on us not playing favorites and um, I think the companies appreciate that too and we appreciate all the companies that submit trials to us understanding that it's not going to be a biased thing and we're not picking um, through any data points specifically so I think that's by far uh, the most important thing. The 2021 corn and soybean variety trials will be available in the December 15th edition of the Michigan Farm News. Data will also be available online at varietytrials.msu.edu.